let's make this uh, 2d design using rhino file so always read your uh, dimensions always take time to understand what what is uh, drawing is all about so as per my vision as per my uh, you know understand understanding uh, this is the center and uh, this portion upper side is symmetric to lower side so uh, i have to create only upper side then i can use some transform options and this is uh, uh, all about this center so part is all about to center so i will create this center at this origin so it will give a proper dimensioning uh, settings so this is very easy for me to understand the things so let's start if you want to use any tab just click on this small triangle and uh, drag this toolbar into the screen use circle option i want to create these two circles one is diameter of 40 and uh, inside and outer side is diameter 100 so directly type in 0 enter and uh, specify diameter value because uh, diameter value is given so 40 is diameter again right click is for repeating last command then 0 enter and uh, type in 100 so diameter is 100 ok uh, if, if you want to change the color of this uh, geometry just the, the right now the ticked layer is my active layer so currently this color is now active so I can use purple or something magenta so it, it will be highlighted so I think dark blue is more highlighted so let's use dark blue now uh, let's create uh, okay when the diameter or radius given in such a way that the center is the same so you can directly create the circles okay so for right now I am going to use circles 0 enter and this is the 160 is center reference circle so diameter is 160 then this outer side is it's not uh, given it is uh, having 10 this side value ok so radius is 10 so this is 10 times bigger means uh, 10 size bigger so this is 160 and radius will be 80 this uh, circles radius will be 80 and its its radius is 10 mm larger 10 units larger than this one so just add 10 so it will become 90 ok so we can create circle with the radius 90 so 0 enter and then use radius 90 ok and uh, then this is 100 so circle 0 enter and 100 is the radius ok now we have two lines at 30 degree angle so how to specify how to create angle line so we have this angle option so angle option having the wonderful option see i am just creating one reference line using keeping ortho on ortho is 90 degree so it will create line horizontal or vertical manner so it will jump to 90 degree okay so just create this base line as a reference to understand the things for the angle line we have it is asking for base line see the line i am going to create is a base line then after with the reference of this baseline I have to specify angle so suppose I want 45 degree so type in 45 degree and then type in the length ok so this is the 15 mm length ok so similar way the this is the 30 degrees given here so for this for this angle line I am just going to use this line as a reference line ok click on this angle line type in 0 enter and the second click is here so I have created this base line now type in angle 30 so angle is given from this this vertical line it is 30 so I have created line here as a base line 
and uh, it is at zero. So zero, I have to just calculate this angle. So total this angle is 90 up to this line, and this is 30. So 90 minus 30, it is 60. So type in 60 degree, and uh, you can give any length and use the mirror option. Yes. Okay. Now we have a circle here on the on this intersection of this 160 diameter circle and this line. So just create an mm radius circle. So just create circle intersection is here and type in radius 10. Same way, right click to repeat last command and 10. Okay, so we have these two circles created. Now just select all and type in train command and just remove unwanted circles. Okay, so now we have to just offset it is see radius is 20. So this distance is 20 and from this, this distance is uh, sorry, this is 10 and this is 20. So 10 mm is the offset distance. So just select this outer boundary. Okay, this uh, trim is left. So just let's trim it again. Select unwanted uh, geometry and uh, select. Okay, use this left side selection and right side selection. So both the selections having different uh, uh, functionality. We will discuss it later. Now just select all the. Uh, close loop and type in offset and type in the value distances of 10 mm and just click outside okay now i want to create this circle here it is of radius 10 so we have a very nice option here it is called fillet curve type in radius value it is 10 and just click one by one oh there is something error is there I think I have just uh, changed the distance. See, this is the circle we have selected as a center is not up to our requirement. It is 180. So see, here is a circle is having diameter of 160 in the center of the design and I have taken 180. So this is my mistake. But now, if I want to create the design with the reference of this dimension, I can use radius 20. Okay, so click one by one. So radius is very important. Why it was not working radius in previous dimension means with the 10 mm value because the distance is uh, circle is not able to reach that distance. So distance is more than 10. So it's considering 20. So we did the mistake. Okay, let it. Uh, let we have made the 180 is 160 here, and our design is okay with the these dimensions. Now this is my reference circle, reference arc. So just put it in another layer, change layer, and use this dash line. Okay, so don't consider these as a geometry. It is only our reference dimension. So select and type in mirror. Zero enter and just click here. Okay, so this is ready. Okay, thank you.